perhaps a strange decision, but I have decided that of all the things that I'm willing to share, uh, it's, it's not usually going to be the inside of my house, but I honestly think I'm okay with sharing my basement during the winter time for projects like this so that I'm, I mean, I'm not going to be warm because it's an unheated basement and unfinished and storing things for friends and yada yada, but I think that this is going to be a half decent use of space. So some of the supplies for um, my hope uh, of getting more caging ready for the birds because we're kind of hurting for caging right now has uh, have arrived. And so I was digging through scrap and I found some of it and I have to go scrounge around and get some more. But uh, I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to share some of this in like fast mode so that it won't just be me here yakking at you for like eons because um, the commuter ride was a long form video. It was edited, tried to keep it interesting the whole time, or at least mostly the whole time. Uh, but I don't suppose people would actually want a whole lot of long form videos. So oh, that needs wiped down still. I'm gonna switch you over to fast mode and see how much we get done today. I may come back shortly with a little bit more detail about what the goals are. So a few more project um, supplies to get from upstairs. So let me go get supplies. We'll explain a little bit more and then we'll do it in zippity zippity style. Hang on. Okay. Um, I got a couple of tall wooden pieces, just like the one that's going across the washer here. I got um, trays and I have half inch hardware cloth. Thank you, Agent Fruit. And over there, specifically there, I have some plywood. So, bird cages. There's also more uh, available places for small diameter wood. I guess that's um, that's the preliminary statement. I think I'm gonna do like a drawing for you. In fact, so let me go get a paper and. I'll doodle up for you what I'm thinking. Hang on. Okay, so here's the concept. We have solid top and back. Top, because putting things on top of it would be nice storage wise. It's not going to be the full height of the ceiling, so. May as well make use of the top of it uh, back because I don't want to have the bird's mess going like out the back and down the wall. Yeah. So solid top and back. Then um, we're going to have cross members here and here here. Okay, and there might have to be more space there. This is going to be like two feet because that's a two foot high and because that's what quail need is either less than two feet, two feet or less, or more than six feet. This will be where this tray fits. This will be where the flooring anchors I am not, because this is going to be indoors, I'm not going to do a very official front closure to it. It's probably just going to be hooks or clips or we'll figure it out. Um, the whole front, I'm thinking, is just going to swing up. And maybe just staples across the top, across a single line, so that it swings free. I don't know, is my hand in frame? Let's look. No, not really, no. Okay. So, so that the whole front just like swings free across a line of staples. 
I am free form waving right in front of a light bulb that you probably don't actually want in your eyes. So from there, this, these are going to be the width and depth of the cages. So you can see what those are. And the floor is going to be over here, but the walls are going to be set in by the amount of the cross bracers that go front to back so that the mess coming in has a chance to catch. So the width between the risers is going to be the full width of this pan, but the width between the walls is going to be a little bit less. And then the floor is going to be like that. And then this is going to slide in. And the roof of the next one down is going to be right here. So I think what I need to do is re... Let's just assume there's more height because I don't want to redo some of this. So this is solid. And that's going to be solid. There's some bumps in this, but you know. Drawing into the counter set isn't all that helpful. And then, you know, it's all going to be solid down to the last rung, though, and then they're going to continue because I think I'm going to have to put this in front of the radiator. I don't know why I said it like that. So, it's going to be more like here's two feet, right?
that that feels like it took forever and all it is is a freaking square oh the height restrictions of the basement aren't making that particular easy but um the kittens are adorable i think randall's on the ground behind there because he's not as good at balancing anymore because he's an old dude but oopsers loving it i'm moving things around and it's great huh kitten um yeah, so I feel like this took forever and got not very far. But what can you do, I guess? I'm going to keep trying on it. It's uh, it's a lot right now. It's a lot. I kind of want to see if uh, the 2x4s on the porch are warped or not. I seem to recall them being so. So I didn't even try, but maybe... I think it'd be better to have something consistent down the back than two completely different sized. And this one also might not be, I don't know, it's a harder piece of wood. That's the uh, baseboard. Um, so maybe it's good enough. I don't know. So yeah, this is, this is a bigger project. And if I get one cage done... I honestly am going to feel pretty good about that. And then maybe expand from there, but oh boy. Hooey. This is just uh, probably just going to be two different bird cages stacked. All right. Um, hope you enjoyed watching me get frustrated and yell and push things around and struggle, but uh, <laughs> here's the outcome so far. Uh, I don't know if I'll record everything, but I'll keep you updated how it's going. All right, take care. Bye.